Yo, what's good YouTube, it's Boardsy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit as fast as Serpent AU, yes I said it, Serpent AU, um, he got caught using macros, and um, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to make one, because I know that macros are pretty popular in Fortnite right now, and I also know a lot of people have the Apex Pro and other keyboards that have the uh, software, and... I'll, I'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to make it. Um, if your keyboard isn't like compatible, like it doesn't have its own dedicated software, um, you can download something like Auto Hotkey or any like universal macro programmer. It's gonna work on all of those. But on this video, I'm gonna be showing it on the uh, Steel Series software. So keep that in mind. And yeah, really, all you can see, I have one finger moving. Uh, this is my mouse hand. And all I'm doing is clicking F, and it is editing super fast, as you can see. Um, it never messes up, and this is only um, the macro for single tile edits. I'll be showing how to do multiple tile edits if this video gets 200 likes. I, that's a pretty big number. I don't know if it's going to happen, but yeah, if, it's, if this video gets 200 likes... I'll uh, fucking show you how to do it for double tile edits. Um, but yeah, so I showed it already. I'll show it one more time. Super fast, just clicking one button. Um, you need to go into your software. Um, for me, my software is the uh, Steel Series software. So I click on it, I open it up. You see we have the Apex Pro TKL. You click on it. And then you're gonna be brought to this screen. Um, if it doesn't bring you to this screen, go to uh, Key Bindings, and that's where you're going to want to be. Then you're going to see Macro Editor Launch. Um, you're going to want to click on Launch, and now you are brought to the uh, screen with macros. Obviously, I already have mine pre-made, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it live. Um, so you're going to want to click on Start or Record, whatever button that is in your software. So yeah, and then once you click record, you're going to want to put your edit key, whatever key you are using in-game to edit. Um, for me, that's E. It might be E for you as well. Um, pretty simple. Um, click on it. And then next, you're going to pick a random key on your keyboard that you don't use. Um, if you're in any way confused by this prompt, just follow. Um, click backslash. Um, that's what works for me. Um, I just like it. I've always done it. Um, just click backslash. And then if you use edit on release, this is it. Um, you can click stop recording. But um, I know a lot of you boomers don't. So what we're going to do in that case, um, let's say you're at this stage. You just click your edit key one more time and then just follow on for the rest of the video. But yeah, if you're a boomer, you do edit key, random button, edit key. But if you're a zoomer, you do um, just edit key, then the random key. So yeah, let me um, delete this. This is where that most this is where most normal people are going to be at by now. And what you're going to want to do is double tap on this uh, first delay between the uh, two keys, or between the uh, down and the up. And you're going to want to put that value on whatever your ping is. Um, for me, I'm on around 15 to 20 ping, so I do 15. Um, just try to do a value that's close to your ping. And on the second press, on the uh, second delay, we're going to do 0. And then on the next one, you're going to put whatever your ping is again. Um, so 15. So this is pretty easy. Um, we've edited it, so now we're going to click on Save fucking terrific like you can see it just saved and we're going to minimize out of this we're going to now go to your uh, key bindings again not the meta bindings I, f I messed up um, one time so go to key bindings and then you're going to pick any key on your keyboard that you don't already have something bound to um, maybe something with your index finger would probably be good um, maybe Q if you don't have it bound, or a thumb bind. Um, whatever you want to use. I use F. But you can put this macro on any key. Um, so you go on that key, you click next to it. You see it says E. Um, e is next to it. On F, you're going to want to click next to it. Normally it's going to say F. 
but you want to go hit this fucking thing normally it's going to be on a default and it's going to say f you're going to want to click on it again it's going to bring up the drop down menu and then click on macros because you've created that macro and then click on it and now you can choose if you want to play it once repeat while it's pressed um it's up to you i'm going to show you guys repeat while pressed and i'm going to click done and now we have saved the macro onto that key um, i'll show it to you guys with another key i don't know if that was like hard to understand um, you click on the key and then you click on macros in the drop down menu under keyboard buttons then we're going to put the key on and boom we did it uh, i'm going to unbind that because i don't use it and yeah we have the key we have the macro on f that's what i use to use the macro um, click save now you have saved it to your keyboard. You might want to put this in a uh, separate profile. Probably should have said that. Um, if you know how to like switch your keyboard profiles, you're going to want to put this in a separate one because you aren't able to use whatever key you pick while you type. Um, it's going to put the macro instead. But yeah, um, most of you guys should have it set up now. That is almost the last step. Now you're going to want to go into your Fortnite settings. Um, go to Keybinds. And you're going to scroll down to where it says building edit, um, not building edit, select building edit. And you're going to have to pick a secondary bind and put whatever that random key is. You see for me it is slash when I click on slash. That is the secondary bind. You still want the primary to be left mouse button. And then you click apply, you save it. Um, and now you have the editing back there. This is how fast it is when you just hold it down. Um, that's like inhumanly fast. You can see that. Um, he, I don't even know if he used this. He probably did it where it like plays one time every click, one time every time he clicks. But you can do this if you want. Um, it's going to be a bit hard to control. You can see that. But um, it's pretty fast and it's pretty insane. But yeah, if you want to do that, you can, or you can just play it one time every time you click it. And I hope this video helped. Um, I hope you guys start cheating. Um, this is a very fun way to play the game. Um, you're just better at editing than everybody else in your lobby, and that's pretty dope. Um, so yeah, if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and sub. I'm sure that a lot of people think they're going to get banned, and god, it's just so pathetic. Like, it's like this weird sense, like, you guys have egos, like you're important to Epic. Like, Serpent got caught because he is, like, famous, he never did a hand cam, and it looks, like, incredibly suspicious. You guys aren't under that, like, public light where you're going to get, like, accused of this. There's no way for Fortnite to detect it, like, um, plenty of pros use this, even if they don't admit it, and yeah, there, it's not like against the anti-cheat, it's just something that Epic can't detect, so I say that if you can, you should definitely take advantage of it. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped. I'll show how to, like I said before, I'll show how to do the, uh, multiple tile edits if this video gets 200 likes but yeah um peace pretty fast epic serpent edit